Few countries are developing new bomber aircraft to engage against their enemies. From reports, these bombers are equipped with the newest onboard defense system, up-to-date reliable jamming-resistant communication system, and unique weapons, which will considerably enhance its combat capabilities in using conventional and nuclear weapons. Of course, stealth will be one of its important factors. Not just new, but old bombers are undergoing upgrades, so today the bus will present the list of future bombers of the world. Tupolev is currently developing a more sophisticated modernization of the Tu-95 bomber, designated as the Tu-95 MSM. This Russia's upgraded strategic bomber will carry eight missiles instead of four. It has been modified to use the KH-101 and KH-102 stealth missiles. And during its heavy upgrade, the Tu-95 MSM received new aircraft control systems, flight control and navigation equipment, an onboard communication suite, a radar and data recording equipment. Instead of the present Obzor MS radar, the new Novella NV-1.021 radar will be installed as a part of this upgrade. In addition, the aircraft modernized to the MSM variant will be equipped with the upgraded Kuznetsov NK-12 MPM turboprop engines. On 22nd August 2020, the first Tu-95 MSM took to the skies for the first time. Up next is the B-52J. The goals of a whole aircraft upgrade would be to prolong the aircraft service life and adapt to opponent system advancements since the initial design. The engine upgrade would allow for a full electrical and cooling upgrade to the B-52J, which is likely to be necessary for new sensors and ECM equipment. This new upgrade bomber with advanced radar can detect and ID enemy surface combatants from outside their weapons range. The B-52J might be the most lethal anti-ship capability the US has ever had, thanks to new sensors and armaments. The B-52J will be able to survey 2.3 million square nautical miles over a 12-hour on-station period, with the upgraded engines extending the mission length to 19 hours with a full load of fuel. Up next is the B-1R Lancer. The bomber is a planned improvement to the current B-1B bomber. Advanced radars, air-to-air -air missiles, and new Pratt and Whitney F-119 engines would be installed on the B-1R R for regional. This version would reach Mach 2.2 peak speed but have a 20% reduction in range. The planned B-1R was to have a combat range of about 2,394 nautical miles or 4,433.6 kilometers with a succession of air defense armament systems to guarantee that the improved platform could defend itself and flee if necessary. Additionally, modifications to the existing external hardpoints would be modified to allow an increased overall loadout on top of the standard payload of 57,000 kg, enabling tactical and strategic flexibility in a credible deterrence package. Up next is the Tu-160 M2. This newly upgraded Russian Tu-160 bomber made its first flight with the new version of the Mk-32, the largest and most powerful engine ever fitted on a military aircraft. The Tu-160's upgraded engines improved the Tu-160's flight range by at least 1,000 kilometers. The Tu-160 M2 strategic bomber's first flight with the upgraded turbofans lasted for 2 hours and 20 minutes and took place at a height of 20,000 feet. The new Tu-160 M2 version includes a glass cockpit, weapons upgrade, new engines and the removal of obsolete equipment no longer relevant to the Tu-160's mission. The weapons package for the Tu-160 M2 will be increased as well. The Tu-160M2 will carry a new generation of long-range cruise missiles in addition to the KH-55MS, KH-555 and nuclear KH-102 missiles carried by its predecessor. Up next is the ZN-H20. The aircraft, which has yet to make a public debut, is said to be a big subsonic stealth bomber similar to the US B-2 Spirit and the Russian PAKDA and B-21 Raider built for the People's Liberation Army Air Force. 
The People's Liberation Army refers to it as a strategic initiative, and it will be the country's first dedicated strategic bomber. The plane might go into service in the 2020s. According to some few sources, it features a weapon compartment, two movable tail wings, an airborne radar up front, and two stealth intakes on each side. The bomber may be armed with conventional or nuclear weapons, having a payload capacity of 45 tons, far more than the B-52H Stratofortress and the B-2 Spirit. Its maximum takeoff weight may at least be 200 tons. Next is the Tupolev PAKDA. Also known as the PAKDA, it is a next-generation stealth strategic bomber being developed by Tupolev for the Russian Air Forces. This new stealth bomber will offer a glimpse into the next generation of Russia's military aviation technology. It will supplement and eventually replace the older Tupolev Tu-95, and in December 2020, it was reported that as many as three PAKDA prototypes were already in production. The aircraft is expected to enter serial production in 2027. The PAKDA's technical specifications include subsonic speed, a 12,000-km operational range, and the capacity to stay in the air for up to 30 hours while delivering conventional and nuclear payloads weighing up to 30 tons. The bomber will carry both conventional and nuclear payloads, including hypersonic missiles, however, the bomber's specific armament loadout is yet to be announced. Up next is the Northrop Grumman B-21 Raider. This is a heavy bomber developed by Northrop Grumman for the United States Air Force. It will be an advanced, extremely long-range, heavy payload stealth intercontinental strategic bomber for the United States Air Force, capable of delivering conventional and thermonuclear bombs as a part of the long-range strike bomber program. It is designed to be able to penetrate the most advanced enemy air defenses after traveling thousands of miles from the safety of its home base. Once it arrives in its operating area, the B-21 will have a devastating and diverse payload of weaponry. It will carry a diverse array of munitions, including nuclear weapons. Sources say that the bomber's armament will likely include the massive 50,000 pounds of ordnance penetrator bomb, the B-6112 thermonuclear gravity bomb, and the long-range standoff nuclear-capable cruise missile. The B-21 will be easier to maintain than earlier stealth aircraft, and based on released artist renderings, the B-21 will have an all-wing platform not unlike the B-2A Spirit stealth bomber, incorporating all learned and possibly new stealth techniques into its design. And that's it from the Buzz for today. Thank you guys for viewing in and stay tuned for more videos from the Buzz.